Hi everyone, so I recently did this card and it was on a, a craft haul video that I did it. I think it was it was either Coca Rosa or it was in Love Art Shop. I can't remember which one, but I'll put it up on the screen um because of this die down the side here. So um I thought I'd do a little tutorial to show you how to make it um because I know I quite often get requests for the cards that I've made in the in the halls, um in the craft halls. So uh, yeah, so this is a five by seven tower fold card. Now there are different one, different versions of this. I've seen ones where you've literally got, you know, it goes all the way down. You haven't got this big section in the middle. But I thought I'd have a go at this one first, and then we might have a go at um, a slightly more in depth one another time. So for this card here, the papers I used were my own digital kit, which is available on Etsy, and this was the birthday bonanza um, digital kit. So I'll put a link, little link up now. Well, I'll put a little um, detail up on the screen. And also, if you look, if you click in the description below, um, there'll be a link through to my Etsy page on there. So let's get into it. So for this card, you need a base piece that is seven inches by nine inches. Now, some of these score lines are a little bit tricky. I'm literally going to score top to bottom, although technically you don't need to score top to bottom. But it just makes it a little bit easier. Otherwise, it does get rather difficult. So we're going to score at one inches, it's all on the long edge, and I'm going to score all the way top to bottom. Now really, you kind of, you only need to score the top inch, then not the next inch, and then you want to score, I think it's like three inches down. So it's basically the top inch, then nothing, and then you score, and the same from the bottom, the bottom inch, and then nothing, and then the rest. But it's just a bit of a faff, so I'm just going to score it, and we just won't fold it. Um, then you've got two inches, and at the two inches mark, you do need to score top to bottom. And then we're going to score at three inches, and again, on this one, you only really need two score lines. So if you want to do it, you can. I'm going to attempt to do it. So what you want to do is you want to come down an inch. Uh, let me just bring it a little bit. I'm going to score it a little bit, and then after you come down an inch, you're going to score only an inch. And then from the bottom, you're also going to score, you're going to go up an inch and then score an inch. I'm actually just going to score the whole thing. I'm just going to press harder on the bits I need because otherwise it gets a bit tricky. Um, and with the way that I'm decorating this one, um, you, it, you know, you're going to you're going to go over where these other score lines are that you don't need. So it's, it's not not much, not that much of a problem. So what I would do is score one inch top to bottom, two inches top to bottom, three inches top to bottom, but just kind of press harder an inch down for an inch and an inch up for an inch. So between two and three inches, sorry, between one and two inches and between five and six inches. OK, otherwise just score straight down. It's fine. And then you can do the same at six. So at six inches again, you want to score all the way down. I'm just going to score all the way down. It's just easier. I'm just going to score all the way down. I'm just going to go a little bit harder between one and two and between five and six. But if you want to score it, just go ahead. And then we're going to score at seven inches. Again, I'm just going to go top to bottom and at eight inches, top to bottom. And again, you're not going to need all of that, but it's just a bit easier, if I'm honest. Otherwise, it's a bit of a faff. OK, so I don't know if you can see my score lines. I'm hoping you can. So what we're going to do is I've just turned it round. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler, and I've got a metal ruler here, but I don't find that very useful to use. So I'm going to use a clear ruler and a pencil. And what we want to do is come down that first score line that we did, so the one at one inch. We're going to come down there, and you're just going to make a mark at one inches, and at two inches, at five inches, and at six inches. Okay, and if you do the same on your last score line as well, so you're going to mark it at one inches, two inches, five inches, and six inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our metal ruler and our standing knife or craft knife, whatever you're using, and you're literally going to cut from that mark. Use this one to line up. You're going to cut from that mark past this one, and you're going to stop there. And then you're going to come across here and cut from here all the way to the last score line. So you're only cutting across one score line, but you're making sure that you, you stop in the middle. So I'm going to cut from that first one and I'm going to stop when I get to there. And then I'm going to come to here and I'm going to stop when I get to that one there. So you end up with that. 
you're going to do the same on all of your so where you've just done your marks at one at two at five and at six you're going to repeat this on all of those marks okay so you should end up with that so you can see hopefully you can see where i've just cut between them all okay so that's all your cutting done so now what we want to do is go ahead and fold so this is where we need to make sure we, we are folding the right places so you want um, a mountain and a valley and then that's not going to be folded so on this bit here you're going to have a uh, so you're going to have a valley then a mountain wrong way around a valley and a mountain like that and then that's not going to have anything this isn't going to have anything that's going to be a mountain and then a valley you just kind of give it a little bit of a crease like i am okay and then here that doesn't need to fold at all that needs to be a valley that needs to be a mountain so again i'm just going to get in there and just give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a coax not really going to push it too much so this one this one and this this one are all the same so they're all mountain here in fact yeah in fact this one here you could actually just fold along but i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and just you know fold this is the only problem with with doing this is you do end up with a crease there which you don't really want i'm actually gonna fold i'm just gonna fold along this line because this this second line so the second score line that you've done um does need to be completely folded so that middle one i'm just gonna fold anyway and that will kind of help the process along a little bit so just do that for now and then it's just these bits here we just need to coax so that needs to go that way that needs to come up that needs to go in that needs to come out and then here we've got this bit here and this bit here and then we just need to do these bits here and if we do those so this one here is a valley this is a valley this is a valley you then hopefully won't crease that so we're just going to bend this whole lot in like that press it down give it a good old burnish I'm going to burnish both sides just so we make sure it knows what it's doing okay so that's what you end up with so you want to do the same on this side okay so there's your base done so you can see now what i meant so this bit here where you scored you don't need that that doesn't need to fold that doesn't need to fold these don't need to fold these don't need to fold also these and these don't need to fold so if you want to just go ahead and do it in sections and just score where you need it to be scored you can it's just a bit of a nightmare to do it's just easy just to score top to bottom and just be a bit more careful when you're folding so now we're going to go ahead and decorate now i decorated this one slightly differently so for this one i had two long strips on the edge one long piece in the middle then i had two four six eight squares i had two rectangles no, i had four rectangles in total um and so that's what i did for this one but i'm not going to decorate it like that uh, i'm going to do it slightly differently this time around i'm going to do it more like in stripes i'm using my dianthus dreams uh paper pack and what i've done is i've just mounted it onto some iridescent um and it's actually wrapping paper iridescent wrapping paper although i know that in the first edition um chasing rainbows i think it's called uh there is actually exactly the same kind of paper so i've used that so what you're going to do is you need to cut out in total you are going to need 12 of these little squares so the mats are seven eighths by seven eighths and the patterns are three quarters by three quarters if you want to go with the bigger border you can but you will end up with hardly any pattern at all okay so i've gone ahead and done that and i've done it in two different um, patterns so i've done it in the green leaf and then the pink butterfly print and you'll see why in a minute down the side you need two strips um, and the mats for these are seven eighths by six and seven eighths and the pattern is three quarters by six and three quarters so i'm just going to go ahead now and stick these down these two down to start with okay so that's that's that stuck down now before i go ahead and, i'm going to put the squares on last um so this piece here is actually going to go across the middle so this is 
one piece the mat is let me go so first two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and so the pattern is two and three quarters by four and three quarters so that is going to go there and then i've got two strips this one here and this one here and these are four and seven eighths across again um, and then the mat is seven eighths wide on both of them and the pattern is three quarters by four and three quarters so i'm going to go ahead now and just stick those three pieces down Okay, so that's that stuck down. Now, these two edges here, I've got two pieces. So um, both the mats are seven eighths wide by two and seven eighths long. And then the pattern piece is three quarters by two and three quarters. And they're just going to go on the sides there. If you want to try and match them up, you can. I think I have there actually. It's a bit clever of me. And that one I'm going to do that way around so it's not quite so obvious. OK, so I went ahead and added these two pieces in. Now, these two I've actually made slightly wider. So the um, the actual mat is one inch by two and seven eighths and the pattern is seven eighths by two and three quarter. The reason I did that was otherwise you end up with a big, a really big gap here in between each piece. So that's why I've made it slightly wider. So if you want, you can do it the same width as you've done the top and bottom or you can do it the way I've done it. So you just end up with a, you know, a more reasonable border. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick our squares down. So I've already said you need 12 of them, um, 7 eighths by 7 eighths for the, um, for the mat and 3 quarters by 3 quarters for the pattern. And they just go all in here like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. Okay, so you should end up with that. So then all you need for the back is you just need a piece of mat, and this is quite a big one, that is two and seven eighths by six and seven eighths, and a piece of white that's two and three quarter by six and three quarter. If you want to go ahead and stamp your greeting, do that now, and then you can go ahead and stick that on on the back. Okay, so that's the back done. So on the front, we just need to go ahead and decorate. Okay, so I went ahead and stuck this um, greeting on, which actually in hindsight probably wasn't the best because I now can't see my butterfly. But I quite like it, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's fair enough. So, yeah, so this um, greeting, this sentiment was one of my new Coke Rosa Studio um, dies. So it was this one, this thank you die, and it's quite a nice size. And I cut it out of the pink Miri and also out of the green Miri. So now I've got two. So I've got the outline in pink and then filled in with green. And this one's the outline in green and filled in with pink. So, yeah, so I quite like that. But it's, it's quite nice. So, yeah, so that's it. And then obviously you've got space on the back to write. And it folds down like that and will fit in an envelope for a 5x7 card. So, yeah, so that is um, the video for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment down below hit the notification bell so you never miss a video after you have subscribed um and also just to mention as well with the coco rosa studio dies that if you go over there to coco studio.com and use my code iced 20 you'll get 20 percent off your order so that is a very good deal and they've got some wonderful things over there so go and check them out but yeah so that's it for today so have a good time and uh, we'll see you next time bye